It's raining. I need to find a place. Currently, I'm stood underneath a bike shower, and one thing I keep looking at is the flagpole. Literally, it's not even connected to the floor yet, yeah? and there is. Right, I don't know if you can see it, but there's wires. Basically, it's connected to a building in which if the flagpole falls down, it'll pull the wires out, leaving them exposed. And now it's raining. It'll reach that tree, the cable probably setting it on fire, and look how many trees are around it. Just saying something. I'm no idea. I'm just thinking, how can I get a flagpole down? Because it's not connected to the floor. I don't know if anyone else has noticed it, but I'm saying it now. It looks like it's connected to the wall via some braces, but... All you ne literally need to do is... I don't know... Use bricks. Build a brick up to it, then just lower it. Let the bricks take the pressure, and then it's just Django. At least lower it down so it doesn't catch the cable. I'll do it. Just requires a bit of balance. I don't know what it's connected to, but I think it's bolted into the wall for a while. just an accident waiting to happen. Stacking bricks underneath it so that we can just literally pull it down so it falls onto the bricks and then you move the bricks wherever you can just to lower it. Or you attach your magnet to the wall. Or around it. Wait, no, there is. You want a copper pipe, a magnet sticking to the bottom of it, because when a magnet goes through a bit of copper, it tends to slow down. I'm not sure if you've seen that on the internet, but it'd be a way to get a flagpole down because by the looks of it, it's paramagnetic. So if you get a bigger copper pipe and just put it up along it and then attach a magnet to the bottom, it will just slowly move through it. Might need a bit of electric, but it's a way to get it down. Good fire it says anyway. They want to land it in the Pacific. Why can't they just like, I don't know, have a bit of copper attach a magnet to the bottom of the ISS when they bring it down? So it either pushes it back up or pushes the copper down so it takes away some of the velocity, reducing the size of the weight. Now, anyway, that's off the top of it. A copper pipe big enough so that it could slide through it. And you want to attach a magnet to the bottom of the flagpole. 
just so as it can affect the velocity of the flagpole so it doesn't damage the floor and I don't know you take it down from the roof if you want to just this building isn't being used for anything you can see why so can I have a go It'll be fun. <laughs> Just prove all these brainiacs and I don't know the billions of whatever currency per year. Just trying to get things to space. And it's like, nah, you don't need to spend that much. I'll send you a GoPro to space for 100k <laughs> a GoPro if you want it back it's 200k so in total 300k I got a um, make some alterations to the GoPro there good Sending a battery to space would be a stupid idea. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> I use something else. Just a trade secret. I'll get your GoPro to space if you want. <laughs> but it's going to cost you. I'll bring the flagpole down for fun, though. Like safely, just for a laugh. I mean, how isn't it perceivable, tiny one? Like, if that falls down, it's not good. It's not a good thing. It actually, isn't. There's so many trees around there. Have a grand day. <laughs> They'll have a better day than me. It's, it's piercing it down. <laughs> <laughs>